Okay, guys. I'm here for my review of last week's Power Ranger Dino Supercharge, episode 18, The Rangers Rock. The penultimate episode since the last episode was a two-part episode. Which, speaking of that, I am I will be reviewing uh, episodes 19 and 20 as one review, as it's the finale. So, you won't be another one of these reviews for two weeks that finale is over. So, the penultimate episode of The Rangers Rock. It begins in the uh, mu- uh, Dino Museum where Shelby and Zenowing are talking, and Zenowing tells Shelby how to make a Zord, and that he was using these eggs or rocks or whatever to make the Zords. I don't know. And then we cut to Sledge One, where Sl- Poisander asks Sledge where he's been, and essentially Sid- Sledge has been goofing off. Uh, he made the deal of Heckle after he found some weird eggs. Uh, and then he made a deal of Heckle to take over. And he just basically went off and had a vacation. Uh, and Poisander just keeps bugging him about, his, about their wedding. So, the Rangers decided they need to destroy the Dark Energy. And a debate turns out about how are they going to do that. Tyler thinks they just go straight in and just go there. And use the Megazords and get rid of it. But Shelby says that you can't guarantee that the Megazord will destroy it, which is right. She comes up with a very good plan where they go to the Sledge 1 and just destroy the Dark Engine that way. That way you know you destroy it. But down, but during that, Sledge sends a monster named Medusa. Not a female monster, a guy monster, despite the fact that Medusa was a female in, the, in Greek mythology. He destroyed the uh, Sentai Q Ranger galaxy or whatever it is. And anyway, Medusa turns seven of the Rangers to stone. He doesn't get Shelby, James, or Philip making their appear, making their hereditary finale, pre-finale appearance, as they need to do because it's mandatory. Uh. So, they take all seven of these things back to the cafe, or the museum, which I don't even know how they got all of them back there, which is the three of them, but... And they discover that they can't call the Megazord, because their three Zords don't have a cockpit. And that the other ones won't work as long as they're into the stone. So, it is determined that Shelby, since she knows what Zenowing did, must make a Zord. Uh, and she's skeptical about that because she wasn't really paying attention to what Zen- to Zenowing when he said it, when he told her how to do that. But she decides to make it anyway because she feels guilty for the plan that was the wrong plan. No, it wasn't the wrong plan. It was the right plan. It just... And that's what Keeper tells her. Sometimes you need to learn from her mistakes. You know, the moral of the story. So Shelby gets the stuff to make the Zord, but she needs the courage of a warrior, so she has Keeper infuse his courage into it, and the thing goes, the Zord uh, rock or whatever it is goes through the floor of the uh, museums of the command center, and Keeper, Shelby, James, and Philip go to fight off Medusa, who's about to, and they run into Heckle, though, who basically gives them why exactly He's around, and he explains to them what the audience knows, that Heckle was actually in charge of trying to keep the Dark Energy Gym out of uh, Argonon's hands, and that's how Snide came about. Medusa shows up wanting to turn them to stone, but Heckle fights them off, and then Shelby fights them off, and then Heckle and Shelby destroy his amulet, which allows the rest of the uh, rangers to um, get unstoned. They all morph, and we get the first ten ranger fight. Now, the only problem is it's not that good of a fight, but it is there. Uh, They summon the Megazord, which doesn't destroy the monster, which doesn't destroy Medusa. And then they do the ten ranger victory maximum blast, and that destroys Medusa. So the rangers are wondering about what Sledge is up to, because Heckle had told him to get off the planet immediately, um, and then that's when Sledge finds, and then we see that Sledge's plan is about to come into fruition, and it's big enough to destroy the entire planet, so the Rangers, uh, decide that they're probably gonna have to take the fight back to space again. Which is interesting, because Dino Charge itself ended in space, 
So maybe it looks like Donald's supercharged and going to be ending in space. Uh, so this was a good episode. I really wish that the villains and I have been doing really goofy things, but now what you're going to do is that. Um, but now it looks like the fat next two episodes, our finale, is going to shape up to be something really good. Like I said, that video will be up in two weeks, roughly, uh, because I'm going to be doing the finale, both parts, as one video, because doing a two-part episode as two separate videos really doesn't do the finale any justice. Uh, hopefully it's better than the quote-unquote legendary battle we got with Super Mega Force. Uh, and then, uh, there, and then after these next two episodes, the two-part finale, there is the Christmas episode that I am not going to review because I don't really want to review Power Ranger Holiday episodes. So, I won't be back with another one of those reviews until the debut of Ninja Steel. Uh, and I'll also have a review of the 2017 Power Ranger movie, alongside a review of the MM, of the first MMPR movie. So stay tuned for that. Uh, of the new M, uh, of the new Power Ranger movie coming out in March, and the original My Immortal Power Ranger movie. So stay tuned for that, because I'll be doing that probably around March when that mo when Power Rangers the movie hits. So if you like, I I'm gonna put all these reviews eventually in the Dino Charge. Uh, review playlist. I just haven't got around to it yet, but they will be there. But if you like this video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.